Hi guys, welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to look at tritone substitution. So tritone substitution is a reharmonization technique that can be used to add harmonic interest and variety to a chord progression. Tritone substitutions are also known as substitute dominance or sub fives. So be aware that these three terms are interchangeable and they all refer to the same thing. This lesson will explain what tritone substitution is why it works, and then we're going to apply it to a major 2-5-1 progression. I'm then going to give you guys a practice exercise for learning tritone substitution in all 12 keys, and then we're going to apply it to three jazz standards. So first of all, what is, tri what is a tritone? Well, a tritone is an interval of three whole steps, or six half steps, and the tritone marks exactly half of the octave. So here's a few examples. C to F sharp is a tritone, D to A flat is a tritone, and F to B is a tritone. So you'll be glad to hear that there are, only, there are only six tritones that you need to learn, and this is because tritones are symmetrical when inverted. So for example, if we look at C to F sharp, if we put the bottom note on the top, which is inverting it, we still get F sharp to C, and then you can see it's a symmetrical interval when inverted. So if we run through the tritones you need to learn, we have C to F sharp, D flat to G, D to A flat, E flat to A, E to B flat, and F to B. So if we go to the next tritone, you can see we have F sharp to C, which is the same as the first one. Okay, so what is tritone substitution? Well, tritone substitution is when a dominant seventh chord is substituted for a, a dominant seventh chord a tritone away. So you might ask, how is this possible? The answer is because dominant chords a tritone away share the same third and seventh. The third and seventh of the chord is what gives it its unique harmonic quality. And so therefore, chords that share the same thirds and sevenths are harmonically very similar and can therefore be used interchangeably. So let's look at an example. Here we have the notes of G7 and D flat 7. So G and D flat are a tritone away. And so if we look at the notes, here's G7. You can see we have G, which is the root, B is the third, D is the fifth, and F is the seventh. So the third and seventh of the chord are B and F. So that's the tritone of G7. That's what makes it dominant. So now if we look at the notes of D flat seven, we have D flat, F, A flat, and C flat. So something to be aware of here is that B, which is the third of G7, and C flat, which is the seventh of D flat seven, they are the same notes, they're just spelled differently. So this makes them enharmonic equivalents. Basically, enharmonic means that they are the exact same notes, so they sound the same, but they're spelt and notated differently due to the key signatures that they're written in. So if we look at G7, we can see that the third and seventh is B and F. And if we look at D flat seven, we can see that the third and seventh is F, and C flat, aka B. So because D flat and G7 both share the same third and seventh, it means that they can be used interchangeably. So now let's look at this in the context of a 2-5-1 progression. So a tritone substitute is a great way to add variety to a 2-5-1. In the key of C, a 2-5-1 progression contains the chords D minor seven, so we've got the root, the third, and the seventh. And then we have G seven, so we've got the root, the seven, and the three. And then we have C major seven, so we've got the root, the third, and the seventh. So because G seven and D flat seven share the same tritone interval, it means we can use D, D flat seven in place of G seven. So here's D minor seven, Instead of going to G7 here, 
we can go down to D flat seven. And we play the exact same notes in our right hand. And then to get to C major seven, we just drop down the third of D flat seven. So you should be able to hear the difference. That's the normal one. And with the tritone substitute, it's. So let's look at a couple more examples. Um, in the key of G major, the two, five, and one chords, we'd have A minor seven, D seven, and G major seven. So D seven is the five chord. A tritone away from D is A flat. So that means that we could play A minor seven, A flat seven, and G major seven. So I'll run through them both again. A minor seven, D seven, G major seven, or the tritone substitute would be A minor seven, A flat seven, and then G major seven. Another example would be a 2-5-1 in the key of B flat major. So we'd have C minor 7, F7, and B flat major 7. So if you want to substitute the uh, F7, which is the 5 chord, so a tritone away from F is B, so, so we could play B7 instead. So let's see how that sounds. C minor 7, B7, B flat major 7, C minor 7, B7, B flat major 7. So you might be wondering why do we use tritone substitution and there's three reasons. The first reason is that tritone substitution creates a chromatic bass line movement which achieves very smooth voice leading in a 2-5-1 progression. So looking at the example in C, we have D minor seven, D flat seven, and C major seven. So you can see the root movement is moving by half steps. Whereas if, if we compare this to the normal five chord, the root is moving in fifth intervals. In the tritone substitute, it's going so this creates very smooth voice leading in a 2-5-1 as the roots are moving by half steps as opposed to fifth intervals. The next reason is that tritone substitution adds variety and interest to your performance. So for example, when you repeat the A section of a tune, which happens in most jazz standards, you can use tritone substitution to make the same progression sound different. And the final reason is that tritone substitution allows you to access more interesting sounding extensions and alterations. So if we if we play a D minor nine chord, if we go to the five chord, we just need to drop the seventh down by half a step. And that gets us to G13. So we've got the root, the seventh, the ninth, the third, and the thirteenth. And then we can drop down to play the root three, five, seven, nine of C major. But if we, um, if we use the tritone substitute and keep the notes in our right hand exactly the same, we have D minor nine, then we have D flat seven with a sharp five and a sharp nine, and then down to C major. So we kept the notes exactly the same in the right hand. But you can hear how much more tension that D flat seven sharp five sharp nine chord has. So basically tritone substitution, it allows you to access those interesting and nice sounding extensions without thinking about it too much. All you have to think about is change the root to D flat instead of G. So now let's apply tritone substitution to a few jazz standards. Here's the first four bars of Body and Soul, and we can see that in the second and third bars, we have a 2-5-1 progression in the key of D flat major. So let's play through this and see how it sounds.
So we had an E flat minor 9 to an A flat 13 to a D flat major 9. So we know that A flat and D are tritone, are tritone apart from each other. So that means that we can substitute A flat for D, basically. So let's play this with the tritone substitutes. So instead of having E flat minor 9 to A flat 13 to D flat major 9, we have E flat minor 9 to D7 sharp 5 sharp 9 and then down to D flat major 9. So you can really hear the difference there. So the next example, we have the first three bars of Misty. So if we look in bars two and three, we have a two, five, one progression in the key of A flat major. So let's play through this and see how it sounds. So we know that E flat and A are, tri are a tritone apart. So that means that we can substitute those chords so now instead of playing B minor 9, E flat 13, and A flat major, we're going to play B flat minor 9, A7, and then A flat major. So let's see how it sounds. So you can see that instead of having B flat minor, E flat 13, we had B flat minor, A7 with a sharp 5 and a sharp 9. So the last example is My Foolish Heart. Again, here's the first three bars. And you can see that in bars 2 and 3, we have a 2-5-1 in C minor. So you can also apply tritone substitution to minor keys as well as major keys. And it also works fine. So let's run through this as it's written. So you could see then we had a, a D minor 11 to a G7 and then to C minor 7. So we know that G and D flat are a tritone apart, so that means that we can substitute those chords. So now let's run through substituting G7 for D flat 7. So that was an interesting one. So instead of playing G7 with a flat 13. We played D minor 7 to, to a D flat 7 with a sharp 11. So we've got the root, the fifth, third, seventh, and the sharp 11, which is the melody. So finally, we're going to talk about the best way to practice tritone substitutes. A good way to practice tritones is using the circle of fifths. So this is a really easy way to find the tritone substitution of a chord. Basically, all you do is look directly across the circle. So for example, if we look at G and then we look across to the side of the circle, we have D flat. So they're tritone substitutes. If we look at D and look across the circle, we have A flat. So their tritone substitutes. However, the best way to practice tritone substitution is in the context of the tunes that you're playing. 
So practicing them around the circle of fifths will always remain an exercise. And by contextually applying them to the tunes, that will give you a much deeper understanding. So what I'd advise you do is flick through your fake book and look out for any two fives or two five ones in the tunes that you're playing and then practice substituting the dominant chords with the dominant chord a tritone away. So I hope you found that lesson useful. And if you do have any questions, just drop the question in the comment box below.